Welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about date and time functions in PHP. So as you know, uh, almost every application heavily depends on date and time. Uh, be it be Facebook, where you see when was the last tweet posted or when was your last message sent or whether you have to maintain the data of when the user has last logged out or logged in. So in a website or a web development, uh, there are a lot of scenarios where you have to consider date and time. And that is why PHP is uh, provided or already loaded with certain date and time functions. So in this video, we are going to study them. So let's start. We are on Sublime Text. So let's create a new file and save it as dt underscore demo. dt stands for date and time dot php let's start with the php tags okay so without delay let's quickly use a built-in function in php known as the time function like this okay so let's save it let's go to google chrome localhost slash php demo the file name is dt underscore demo dot php and here you see you are getting a no long enough number so uh, you must be very confused that you used a function called time and you are getting a very very large number so uh, what is it so before um, understanding what exactly is on our screen let's reload the page just carefully watch the last three digits it was 144 now it's 174 179 182 183 84 so if you have, haven't guessed it already it's basically the number of seconds okay it's basically the number of seconds from first jan 1970 so number of seconds passed since midnight first jan 1970 so how is it significant php uses this as a timestamp a reference value so whenever you want to print out a date or current time in php what php does is it takes this reference value and subtracts uh, the current time and this is how it can generate date and time for you let's take an example let's save the output of this function into a variable called dollar timestamp now what we are going to do is we are going to print out current time using the time function so what we will do is we will create a new variable current time is equal to there is one more function in PHP called date you have to provide two arguments in date and you can use it in a variety of ways so suppose I am using it like this I'll explain what this is but now let's just echo out the current time okay let's save it reload and if you can see it's the current time okay so what it does is it basically uh, this is the format in which I want to print out the current time actually date you, you can provide it with various of options suppose if you want to print out the current day so what you'll do is you'll write it like this D M Y D stands for date M for min, uh, month and Y for year so now if you'll save it and reload it says Saturday 11 2017 okay you can also change day to date save reload it says 18 11 2017 you can also change M to capital M and see what will happen save reload now you get a three-letter word NOV for October, you will get OCD. 
So this is how you use the time and date function to print out the current date or time. Okay, great.